Hi, my name is Stephen McGee and I'm the author of Toxic Health. Now we're here to talk about one of the subjects of Toxic Health and that is dirty electricity. And in the background you can see that we have a compact fluorescent light. And these are the Energy Star light bulbs that we're being told to buy. Now there's a little bit of a problem with these light bulbs and the fact that they have an inverter system built into them. And if we look at the oscilloscope, we're looking at two things on the oscilloscope. We're looking at the voltage waveform in yellow, which all looks good. But if we look at the red waveform, that's our current of the light bulb, you'll see it doesn't match the sinusoidal waveform of the voltage waveform. And that's quite a concern because that's the inverter system pulling off power from the power system. So what it's doing is it's pulling its current impulses from the main system. And the problem with that is it creates harmonics. It, anytime you do a non-sinusoidal draw of the power system, you get this harmonic frequency effect. And I'm going to show you that. We're going to go into what's called the fast Fourier transform. And that is what harmonics look like. So normally the power system is running at 60 hertz and if you have linear loads, resistive loads like normal light bulbs you would only see one spike but because this is a non-linear load we see many frequencies and each spike is a frequency and we're currently set on 500 hertz per division so let's go down to 50 hertz per division and see what we get so that's 50 hertz per division now right here, this is typical of the utility system. This is the frequency that the utility system runs at. But you can see we have all these other frequencies. Now all those other frequencies are coming from the electronics on that light bulb. So let's see how high these frequencies go. So we're at 1 kilohertz per division. And you can see the harmonic frequencies tailing off into the noise down here. And that's pretty characteristic of harmonics. So let's go to 10 kilohertz per division. So on 10 kilohertz per division you can clearly see the harmonics on this side and the rest is just general noise and that general noise is coming from a combination of the electronics on the fluorescent light bulb and also the electrical system. So it has two sources and that general noise can actually create radio waves on the wiring and I've actually previously tested this light bulb and the wiring that goes to it and when the light bulb is in service you can actually detect radio waves on the wiring and those radio waves are wide band radio wave emissions and that may lead to radio wave sickness and electromagnetic hypersensitivity so it's something you need to be careful of with your cables that you make sure that they're not radiating radio waves into the human environment. So that's harmonics on a compact fluorescent light bulb. I hope you enjoyed the presentation and I wish you the very best of health. Thank you.